Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be making custom shortcuts. We're only doing the terminal version in this video, but uh, you know, if you wanna do it in an easier way with the a la carte app, just check the link in the description. So to start off, you're gonna to need to open up a terminal and uh, use the touch command to create a new file. So touch test.desktop, and then you're gonna to want to update the permissions. So sudo chmod plus x test desktop, enter the password. So you'll then need to paste an entry code. So we're gonna be editing the majority of this file with the nano text editor, but for the first part, you need to paste this code here. And this will just tell the system that yes, this is a desktop file. So it's just echo desktop entry and it will write it directly to the example uh, excuse me, the test file, test desktop. And uh, if you open it up here in Kate, we can now see we've got the desktop entry stuff and now all our code can go here. So now we just need to open up the file in Nano with here and then we go under here and from here we can just paste in our code. So there are a lot of different facets to desktop files. We're gonna focus on a couple and I've got them right here. Comment, exec, type, and icon. So if we wanna do comment, we can just name our, our desktop icon. And also we'll need name, I almost forgot. So comment, name, exec, type, and icon. So these ones are the, are the basic, basic ones we need to care about, the five basic ones. So first we can do comment and we can do this is my program. For name, we can type in test app exec. We can have it launch whatever we want it to launch. I'm just gonna have it launch uh, console or something. So let's just do console type application and then icon. I can type in the name of the program and if the program is installed, it'll find the reference to the program in the icon set. Or you can load in your own custom icon and we set that up in the description in the link below. But for this case, I'm just gonna do console and then I can click control O, save it up. And uh, as you can see, it took a little bit, but we see this is the new application uh, launch menu app that we made. And if I close my stuff here, it will launch our program and let's get it to launch. And it launches my terminal just like that. And we know if we open it up in Kate, we see everything is right here. And it, it added a little bit of stuff because the KDE system likes to edit these things, but just making a basic edit there, you could do pretty much anything. You can set your own custom application launchers up. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you learned something. This will come into Come in, come, it'll be useful if you, uh, if you need to make your own shortcuts. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.